Hello, beautiful and magnificent beings. How are you? How is your week? I don't know about you, but oh, it's been a difficult week for me. So I will be dedicating this session to all of us that have experienced a really unusually difficult, <laughs> frustrating week. Um, physically, emotionally draining, um, whatever's happened in your life, um, we're just going to focus on helping ourselves feel better, to come back into balance, to receive exactly what we need, and to just feel better, more stable, supporting our mental state, our physical health and well-being. I recently um, was talking about what a difficult month it has been for many of us, and I recently discovered, on top of what was already happening to me, uh, if you know my channel, you know from time to time, again, I have problems with my water. It's very toxic, it's poison, and sometimes there's an issue with my water filtration. And so during that month, I was drinking a lot of that water. But fortunately, I caught on um, the last week or so, which I should have known um, my throat, <clears throat> my voice changes a lot, especially in the, the summer, the desert, the dry season. It just takes its toll on me. But anyway, sorry not to complain, but I mentioned that um, I would start talking to you guys more about this stuff. I always try to bring the most joyful uplifting videos and i refrain from that but a lot of you can already tell when something's going on with me and it also helps um you know i am human just like you i have problems i have issues and if you see me in a certain way all the time i realize that that's probably not healthy um because i do have my moments as well and i want to share those because that helps me um and also other people that are going through it. It's always such a powerful healing intention for me, I think, whenever I share, whenever other people share some of the channels that I watch and I get this information, it's like, uh, it's just such a relief to know that we all go through these things. So there you have it. So besides my intention, if you would like to go ahead and set one, let me just lift my candle out. Go ahead and set your intention and let's release it. So I have been getting some requests for my tube chimes. It's 528 hertz. Um, I've been planning on getting more, but I still haven't gotten around to it yet. Plus, I need to get the stand for them because it would be really difficult trying to hold all of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with some tube time layering to just kind of help settle us, calm us, get us in a mood where we're feeling more open and receptive to receive the healing.
Let's do a little energy sweeping with some selenite and also my chakra wand. It's kind of fluffing and lifting up that energy while removing anything that might have gotten stuck during the week. Anything that doesn't feel good. Anything that shouldn't be there that perhaps was picked up or thrown your way. Think of my hands like magnets, scooping in and pulling, relieving, releasing any bonds that feel tethered to you. Also working with Zonar to help with any mental or bodily issues, pain, irritation, Things that don't feel good, anxiety. So nice, so nice, so nice. Working down through the center. Aligning, stimulating, waking up the light, bringing in more light down through the crown, through the core, to the root, and out the feet. You might feel some tingling or movement of some kind in the body or outside the body. A little work over the head. Feeling more connected to the earth the healing energies of Mother Gaia, the trees, the plants, the grass,
<sighs> the energy feels very soft today. Very powerful, but soft. Where if you know my session, sometimes it can come through very stimulating, invigorating, but this is more about a recovery. So just the soft, gentle, supportive energy. Just feeling that comfort wash over the body. Let's infuse the session with some essential oil aromatherapy. Expanding the energy, the aura. I've talked about sometimes when we don't feel our best, we tend to contract and pull ourselves in. So we want to expand our energy. We want to lift our shoulders and stick our chest out, not in an uncomfortable or over-exaggerated way, but just a healthy, natural stance of the body and just pulling that out. I've been feeling a sense of, I guess I've gone through this before, but it's been so long, but it just feels like I don't know, things that worked before are not working. I think that's part of my irritation. I'm easily irritated right now, but, and I've tried different patterns or different um, tools and things, and I've gotten better and I started improving and coming to my, the energy that I love so much, my happy, uplifted, joyful self, but I don't know, I've just had a struggle lately. I'm not used to, when I was younger, I think this is part of what freaked me out, feeling this way a little bit and trying to avoid it. Um, when I was younger, the first half of my life was just so miserable, <laughs> so sad. I was not a happy person. I never felt like things were going well or right. and. There was always something or someone that was causing a problem, and I realized that a lot of this was my doing, of course, because of my abusive background. So I feel like I've slipped into that feeling or that emotion, even though I'm not that person and I don't live that way anymore. So I had to take a moment to just kind of sit with that and allow it. It's like, okay, I'm not avoiding because that never helps. So just kind of sitting with it trying to understand it and release it, not being afraid of it, fearful, or pushing it away. So I know this is what it takes sometimes, but I just feel like I'm missing something. I don't know, I shouldn't be reversing. I mean, my days have been good. Yesterday was a great day. I was out, I had my nails done, I had amazing chiropractic adjustment. Everything was going so well. You know, I'm getting really positive signs, symbols, synchronicities. There's no reason to feel this way. It's so frustrating. And if you guys are going through this or something similar, please let me know. Maybe you have an idea how to work through it. Or maybe you know why it's happening. I don't know. I mean, it's sort of like the dark night of the soul again, and I'm just like, oh God, I think most of us have been through that already. Last thing I want to do is go through that again. And I, I don't know, it just kind of feels not quite that intense, but that's the thought that keeps popping in my mind. And I'm thinking, well, what is it? What do I need to let go of? Because, you know, pretty much everything, well, not pretty much, but I make a point to make sure everything in my life is for my good, my well-being, everything is healthy. It's completely opposite of how I used to live. So I don't understand. That's why, again, it's confusing because I don't feel like there's anything that I can think of to let go. And I've been asking for help and questions. Ask, I've been asking questions and for help. And I get that, 
you know, I always get that information, sometimes right away, sometimes a day or two, but I don't know, I just feel like I'm missing something here. So again, bringing in some zebra stone. I have just been feeling really drawn to these lately. I have three different ones. Let me just hold them up so you can see. They're really pretty. And the calcite one. I'm gonna place this earthy colored one at your feet. And I'm going to work with these two on my hands. <sighs> it's getting a little warm in here. I might have to turn the air on for all the lights. I've been getting some questions about my light language channel also. Um, I don't usually talk about it on this channel if you happen to find it because it's listed below. Um, but I don't usually advertise. It is still up, yes but I have not posted in a really long time, I think possibly over a year ago, but I've been getting people requesting over there, so to my surprise, I was not expecting much with that channel, but um, I, may, I might put a few new videos up, I'm not sure yet. I wanna wait until I feel a little better because this channel takes up a lot of my time, not that I'm complaining. <laughs> But a lot goes into this, just besides, you know, the videos. There's a lot more behind the scenes. So I want to get to a better place first before I create those. Keep this little guy in my hand. I did try to make this video a little bit longer also to help everyone. I know that's another thing some of you have been asking for a little longer videos. And on my better days, I will definitely try to make at least a few longer ones for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you feeling better? I'm actually feeling a little bit more relaxed and calmer. Let's take a gentle breath in and slowly out. Again, in and out. Just going to infuse a bit more essential oil into your aura. Thank you so much for listening to me today, guys. I hope it wasn't too much. I don't usually talk to you like this. <laughs> Settling everything down, allowing yourself to acclimate to all the new energy and frequencies in and around the body. The powerful healing of eternal love is with you now and always. Divine consciousness fills your every cell. You are whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. You are pure, clear, and balanced. May you be free of suffering, and may your life flow with ease. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you for being here, for listening, for being a part of this channel, for supporting me in so many different ways. Through the comments and the likes, the sharing, the donations and the gifts. Um, through the simplicity of just transmitting your energy of warm, healing thoughts and comments and loving support. I appreciate you so much, especially on my most difficult days. Thank you so much. Until my next video, there's so much love for you here. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam.